Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study how we can compute functions by Turing machines. Apart from accepting strings, <coughs> Turing machines can compute functions also. Tape of Turing machine acts as input device as well as output device. The input of computation is all the non-blank symbols on the tape at the initial time and output of computation is the string of tape symbols on the tape when the Turing machine halts. When Turing machine computes numeric functions of numeric arguments then how the integers will be represented on the tape. Integer n will be represented by a string of n number of ones. For example, 5 will be represented by a string of 5 number of ones. That is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And 2 will be represented by 1, 1. Right? If The function has k numeric arguments and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 up to n k. Then these integers should be initially placed on tape separated by zeros. For example, suppose there is a Turing machine amp which computes the function f right and what this function f does this function f computes the addition of two numbers if uh, n1 and uh, n2 are its argument if n1 and n2 are its arguments then its output would be n1 plus n2 right now suppose we want to compute the function f for arguments 2 and 5. The result of computation will be 7. So, to get the Turing machine m, compute this function f 2 5. Initially, the string of non blank symbols 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 must be on the tape of Turing machine M. When the Turing machine M halts, the content of tape should be 1 1 1 1 1 1 1. 1, 1. That is a string of seven ones, right? Now, let us uh, construct a Turing machine which performs the addition of two integers. If we want to add two integers m and n, then the initial input on tape should be the strings of m number of ones and n number of ones separated by zero and the content of tape when the turing machine halts should be a string of m plus n number of ones now see how the Turing machine will perform addition. First, Turing machine will find first zero to the right of current hat position. When it gets zero, it will replace it by one. Now there will be m plus n plus one number of ones on the Tape. Now the Turing machine has to erase the last one 
on tape to get the desired output. For this, Turing machine will find first blank symbol to the right of current head position, right? And when Turing machine finds it, it will move its head one position to the left. Now, the last one is under the read write head of Turing machine. Turing machine will erase it and halt. Now, there will be M plus N number of ones on the tape, which is the output of this computation. This Turing machine computes the addition of two integers. Q0 is the initial state of Turing machine. Turing machine first finds first zero to the right of current head position. When it finds, it replaces this zero by one and jumps to state Q1. and move its head one position to the right. After this, Turing machine finds first blank symbol to the right of current head position. When it finds, it jumps to state Q2 and move its head one position to the left. Now, the rightmost one is currently under the read write head. Turing machine will erase it. Right. And jumps to state Q3 and halt there. Now the content which is on the tape is the desired output. So in this way this Turing machine computes the addition of two integers. Thank you very much.